Machiavelli begins, he says, <clears throat> One might doubt whence it arose that Agathocles and others like him, after infinite treacheries and cruelties, could long live safe in their fatherland and defend themselves against external enemies, and yet never have the citizens conspire against them, since there have been many others who have not been able to maintain the state through cruelty even in peaceful times, not to mention in the dubious times of war. <clears throat> he says, I believe that this comes to pass from cruelty badly used or well used. Well used, one is able to call those cruelties if one may lawfully call the bad good. Now notice, he said lawfully call the bad good. Is he making a quarrel? Is, he making a, is this a moral qualification he's making right now? Is he saying that his moral sense recognizes that uh, there's something wrong with calling the bad good? Uh, Jake? Jake? It sounds to me like it's a uh, a moral qualification because I, I can't imagine that somewhere written into a law was that, uh, you know, it's against the law for bad to be good. Well, but remember the time period. In the time period, what is it against the law to call the bad good? I mean, remember now, there, w there wasn't freedom of speech and press at this time. So is he right? I mean, this is the late 1400s, early 1500s in Italy, still under the control of the church. And you could still get in big trouble uh, for uh, espousing arguments that contravened church-based morality. But so notice here, Machiavelli doesn't say if one may morally call the bad good. He says if one may lawfully call the bad good. Who are the makers of the law when, when, he, when he was writing? 